Hey everybody, Misaki here, and welcome back to Tales of Zillia Blind. Where we last left off, we escaped from the um, capital where Jude here was a medical student, nearing the end of his time, and about to graduate fairly shortly. And we learned that this girl we're traveling with, Mila, is Maxwell, the Lord of Spirits. Now, if you remember, Maxwell in most games is like the spirit of or is like the spirit of creation, and like the oldest spirit and one of the most powerful ones there are. Well, in this, Maxwell is the Lord of Spirits, the the spirit above all of the other spirits, the four greater elemental spirits, and the four lesser spirits. So we got on this boat and we left the capital for the port here at Ajul. And Mila had asked our person that helped us escape here, Elvin, to teach her how to use a sword. See, he said he'd do it for a price, but because there was no way to, um, actually... Yeah, because there was no way to actually pay them, he said, why don't we take on some requests from people to earn some money to help pay for it while, she, while we're in the process of teaching everyone. Alright, so I'm gonna... Look in the shops here. Let's see. Shop expansion has been mocked. Choose the game system in which you can give materials and apps to increase the selection available in the shops. I'm just going to let you guys read all these little things if you want. I'm just going to read them quietly to myself. Okay, so we can so we get points and we help them expand by selling stuff, buying stuff, and giving them materials. All right, let's see. So buy a couple capes. Oh darn, I can't give people boots. Okay. Broad sword, leather helm, and hard mail. Okay. So that's that shop, here's weapons. Alright, I don't want to talk to you. Let's see. Okay, those are the weapons that they actually have equipped right now. I'll do all of my expanding and whatnot off screen for the most part. Get some stuff with these guys now. Okay, equip the purchased armor. No.
Yeah. Alright, I'll go through expanding and whatnot later. Sorry for taking a couple minutes there to go through accessory shop and everything. Let's see. Let's see if I can get some boots now. Nope. <laughs> Can't get boots. Okay, so let's run around now and see if we can find anyone that needs help. Oh, an item shop. Alright, life bottles, life bottles, apple gels, and orange gels. Seem to be the only thing I can get right now. I was pretty sure I saw someone, you know, right here that we could talk to to do a sub event for. Hey there! You've got a request, right? How about letting us handle it? Oh, you're mercenaries. Oh, perfect timing. What kind of request? Someone's got a problem with monsters, and we get paid to solve their problem. Oh, so by taking on these jobs, you get the reward, and I get the practice. Right, everybody wins, well, except the monsters. <laughs> Okay, hit us with the details. Some monsters we've never seen before are lurking near a lake west of the Sea Haven. A lot of people depend on that lake for water, so those monsters have become a real nuisance. I'm looking for someone to exterminate the beasts. What's the reward? Yes, of course. You heard the woman. Thoughts? Sounds fine to me. Fighting monsters will be good training. Excellent. Now these beasts are no pushovers, so please watch yourselves. About your sword training. The monsters aren't just going to stand there like training dummies, you know? We should go over some basics first. Hmm. I appreciate it. Well, gold for our quest is always good. <laughs> Especially at the start. Later on, other stuff might be nice to do. Or be, might be nice to get. Ready your sword. Well, that'll do. You have my gratitude. Shall we go? Wait, Jude. Take a moment to consider your situation. You don't have to stay with me anymore, you know. Uh, right. Now that we've crossed the border, it'll be a while before any pursuers from Rashugal get here. What are you suggesting? Just that he still has some time to think things over. Sorry, I'll make up my mind by the time you set off. Okay, very well. Let's go and complete that request. I'm actually going to see if there's any other requests I can take before we leave. You thought you were doing the right thing. And now you're on the run. That's a pretty tough lesson for a kid your age. Yeah. But I brought it upon myself. I kind of like Elvin. <laughs> okay, event list updated. Defeat the threat by the western lake of Aladi Trail. Well, actually, I want to see if we can pick up any more um, requests here. That's the icon for people that you can talk to normally. The actual symbol above someone that has um, a request looks slightly different. It's different colored and it's got the exclamation point, obviously. So let's look around for a minute. Okay, so this is like all that's here, it seems. Oh no, we can go through there and there's like another section, I guess. Take you through this as I do this. Oh well, accessory shop still has um
Oh my god, I just wanted to get that stuff donated to them. Now let's head into the city. Okay, this takes us outside to the trail where we need to fight the monsters. Hmm. My Lilium orb is shining. Mine too. Wait, you two have orbs too? Great! We should try linked combat. What's that? Lilium orbs are handy things. They let you sense your companion's intent. That's a huge advantage in battle. You can coordinate your thoughts to pull off combination attacks. We call this linking. Sounds great, but how do we do it? Try it and see for yourself. Focus your consciousness into the Lilium Orb. Wait! <laughs> okay. Alright, try linking up. So this is linking. As an ally, you have to link away and have to fight with a pair. Okay, it's time to flank them. Alright. Attack! Fight an enemy and your partner will move behind allowing you to flank an enemy. Awesome. And then from behind raises the... Yeah, I'm gonna uh, be sure of all of the tutorials and everything, because like I said, this is blind, so... I can sense Jude's next movement. Hey, watch your back. I'll help. I'm gonna focus from behind your partner will respond. And I'm gonna Partner will protect you from back attacks, reducing the likelihood of taking critical hits. You can modify your partner's behavior in the strategy menu. Awesome. It's time to finish them off. Mila's dying when Mila is your partner. She will restrain the enemy during pincer attacks. I think you're ready to learn oh, some awesome. linked arts. Yeah. The combo arts. I love these things in all the style games. Fill the gauge by attacking. Okay, pickle spider. Oh, okay, these are the enemies. You see me put some tough powers. Okay. Cool. That's pretty nice. <laughs> the length of arts gauge on the left fills up as you attack. Victory born from cooperation and friendship. Not bad, right? Yes, I quite like it. I feel much better knowing I'm not fighting alone. <laughs> I like that. Right That's there with funny. you, buddy. Nice. Got a much bigger combo there. So and this is experience. Really got another level. Awesome. I'll handle the leveling off screen here. Just go into that to heal. Let's do some more killing while we're here. Whoa, 
Do one more fight, then I'll head back and hand in this um sub event there. Of you will not stop me. Got some more stuff. Let's see what's this. Elvin's partner skill breaker. Choose Elvin as a partner when you're battling a foe who's guarding. Elvin attempt to guard break the foe, a foe who has been hit. Let's see what's All right. So let's head back while we have some time. And actually hand in this quest now at the Sea Haven. There you are. We killed some monsters for you. Okay, we haven't actually done it yet. Man, I can't get boots yet. Okay. I would like to get all three of them boots at some point. I'll probably do that off screen here. Here's another enemy I haven't seen before. Linking fundamental three when linking partners look together to surround their foes and guard them. Stacks and enemy attacks because of this having a incredible hitting technique. Awesome. Just keeps getting better. It looks like we got an item over here, yep. Yeah. A jet black feather, okay. Ooh, a skip. You seem to know your way around a fight. Yeah, I studied self-defense when I was a kid. They say that even the best trained soldiers may panic in the face of actual combat. Yet you seem completely together. Well, I had a friend I trained with who used to shout sparring time and attack me out of the blue. So it's probably thanks to her. I see. I'd always wind up on the ground covered in bruises. I'm sorry to dredge up such painful memories. What? No, it's not like that. Don't all bullied children say that? Bullied? That's not what... <laughs> Wait. Wow. That's a pretty interesting it? scene there. Alright, so I'm going to pull the map here for a second to look around it. I see a shiny. Why not? Let's take you down. I want to look at his heart and see I have Vortex up there. Healer! 
to expand. Okay, so right now we're at the 20 minute mark, so in the next video here, we will continue down this path to, um, well actually in the next video now, I'll see you down at the lakeside to take on the sub-event here. I'm going to do some fighting and training offline as well as donate some more back in town and um, place those points for, and the Lillian orbs for the two for Mila and Elvin that leveled there. So until then everyone, whether you've been watching or playing along, remember to subscribe, leave a like, and I leave a comment if you want, and I will see you all in the next one where we actually take on the subquest and really get down to the um, lakeside there to handle the monsters that that woman mentioned that we have to do for the sub event here. So until then everyone, Take care and I will see you then.